Hey, Robin Steinberg here, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about something that's a little interesting, actually, for me to talk about. Uh, it's a lot like coming out. I have a much easier time telling you about my personal life than I do actually about my spiritual life. And it seems a little bit upside down in some ways, but a very important conversation to have. I grew up knowing that I was spiritual, but certainly that religion and even God was a t tough concept for me to talk about. It brought down some barriers and walls and judgments and opinions. Um, not so easy when you think about it. The opiate of the masses was certainly a judgment that didn't allow me to connect with anything bigger or um, more inspirational than my own thoughts and science. Don't get me wrong, science is awesome. In fact, what I really appreciate about spirituality and my understanding of God is the universal life connection because it's as within and without. The same forces that hold the planets and stars in relationship and in orbit and connection is the same stuff that holds us together as individuals and as families and communities and on the individual personal level. It's the same stuff that holds our bodies in this form. And I really truly believe that we are this universal essence, the universal life force, whatever you want to call it, God, Atma, Rama, Grandfather, Mother Earth, the divine spirit within, your own name science, money, something, whatever it is. I've heard that something is another name for God. Well, I know that God is something that I've had to get comfortable with on my tongue, and yet have I've known from the inside out in my inspiration, in my mm, perspiration, in my respiration, in all aspects of who I am, the very essence is that divine life force. And I know it to be true for you too. So what I'm doing in this moment is speaking my truth and letting you know about a community and a movement that I've connected with. It's been very influential in bringing me out of the spiritual closet, if you will, of connecting me with a much bigger community and the truth that is everlasting beyond these human life suits that we come to earth to work through. That's Inner Light Ministries. We've been operating in the world as a church, and yet most of us that come here have a great deal of healing to do around that concept. Many have grown up in either very tight, restrictive communities or church experiences that have push them away from their own sense of who they are as spiritual beings. One way or another, there's some sort of a healing and a reconciling to be able to connect with our personal connections. We've all got different ways of understanding that God force, that God energy, that mm, which is within the I am spirit energy, the I am that I am is bigger than you or me simply is. The word Lord actually means the self-existent one. And through my experience at Inner Light Ministries in our classes as becoming a practitioner, in my interactions with everyone there, in my experiences with being part of a choir that sings primarily gospel, but not just in all of the diversity work and training that we've done in my daily interactions, in my job. I get to show up authentically expressing 
God in form. Albert Einstein put out there in, I believe it's the theory of relativity, but really that neither, that neither energy nor matter is created nor destroyed, it simply changes form. So I've totally butchered that quote, but basically energy is neither created nor destroyed, it simply changes form, and I believe that everything is energy, that that vibration, that who we are, is not simply woo-woo fairy tales, but it's practical applications in life, or principles that we can live by. They're not laws that are immutable, but they're evolving and being formed and created through us, and that's not simply just words. You are that creative opening. What will you create today? Hmm. Anyway, Robin Steinberg here. Thank you very much. This is day 10 of a 21 day video challenge and it's also part of my commitment to hmm, the message that is inner light. That is your inner light, that is my inner light, that is a community, that is time has come for we are indeed transforming the world from the inside out, one heart at a time. We are indeed all connected, sharing breath, sharing the very resources that are our very essence, the fibers of our being, the fibers of our bodies, of our consciousness connected very far back to the very beginning and into the future in ways that we can only imagine at this point. Anyway, namaste friend. Stay tuned.